Lights on the Acosta Bridge set to honor Pride Month once again. Last night, the lights, the colorful rainbow lights, were taken down, initially removed due to a compliance issue. Now, that is according to the governor's office. So let's take a live look from the bridge tonight where the rainbow colors are expected to be turned back on in about an hour and a half. And we have live team coverage for you tonight on your side's Brianna Ray Turner covering the outrage this decision sparked. But first, Jeannie Blaylock is in the newsroom with what led up to this. Jeannie. Yeah, let's explain this. We found a lot of back and forth between the JTA, the Jacksonville Transportation Authority, and also FDOT, the Florida Department of Transportation. We put in a public records request, and here's what we learned from the documents today. It appears the issue started with an email from the Transportation Department. Now, according to this email you're seeing right there on your screen, FDOT told the JTA it got several complaints regarding the colors on the Acosta Bridge. The email was sent yesterday just before 5 p.m. FDOT told JTA to go back to its permitted color scheme. Now we have asked FDOT for the complaints referenced in their email, but we still have not heard back about that, but we'll keep on top of it. Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News on your side as we turn now to Brianna Ray Turner because she is now gauging community reaction to the decision and joins us live now from the Acosta Bridge. That is right. And in just a half an hour, if you take a look behind me, this Acosta Bridge right here is going to be rainbow lights for Pride Month. It's been a dramatic 24 hours for members out of the local LGBTQ community, but an outcome they celebrate. That's a month when we celebrate um, the, the visibility and presence and contributions and creativity of the LGBT community. Founder of LGBTQ youth group Jasmine, Cindy Watson, says having the pride lights on the bridge is a big deal, which is why the decision to douse the lights was such a disappointment. This thing with the bridge seems like, oh, it's not such a big deal. They're, they're going to go back up tonight, thank goodness. Um, but the message is still out there. Young people will still hear it. It will be internalized and it's challenging. Dot officials said the rainbow color scheme wasn't one of those pre approved under the state's bridge light policy, but was since authorized. Dot said, quote, while the schematic yesterday was not previously submitted or approved in accordance with the bridge lighting policy, the department has since authorized its use as it's obviously a matter of broad community interest. Watson says she hopes the incident causes more reflection from public agencies in the future. Regardless of what the intent was, the impact has been felt and the impact is still is still uh, a negative, hurtful impact to the entire LGBT community. This Saturday, there's an event scheduled called Walk the Acosta with Pride. Um, participants are encouraged to bring pride flags and the event starts at 10 a.m. I'm live in downtown Jacksonville. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side. Thank you, Brianna, and those lights will be turned on from 6.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. And tonight we are breaking down the colors we've seen over the Acosta Bridge over the past few months. And if those had the proper permits, more on that coming up on First Coast News at 6. And there's a lot more to this story. You can read our full investigation by tapping on the story in the First Coast News app right now.